What's up? It's your boy Carcino here. And let's get into this Coward McGregor thing. Now, Coward seemed to believe that he can fool the general public by applying for a boxing license that in, in the state of California. He was denied one in Nevada. But he seemed to believe that by doing this, he will change everyone's mind to think that he's gunning for Floyd Mayweather. He's trying to use this to leverage against the UFC. Because Howard McGregor don't want to fight the best fighters in the UFC. He want to run the UFC. He's there to make money. That's it. That's it. He wants to. He's like, I'm bringing all the people over there watching me because I'm throwing chairs and bottles. Now, when this guy's throwing chairs and bottles and all flamboyant, he's a riot. He's fun. <laughs> Floyd Mayweather was to do that. He's arrogant. He's a disgrace. Look at him throwing money at the crowd. He makes me sick. People enter racial disgust come out when this happens. When you always talk this subject, they don't even see it. But that's neither here nor there. Let's stick with the facts. Coward McGregor didn't want to defend the title. So he wasn't going to keep both titles. So what was the point of him telling him he's a two-time champion when he wasn't going to keep the belts? It's a dog and pony show that they try to run. And now, Coward McGregor wants more money. The UFC, with new owners, are not willing to play ball. They say, you're going to take what we pay you. And that's that. He wants part ownership. Like, they could just go to the table and cut him ownership into mm -hmm. the UFC. Now, if Conor McGregor was making $100 million a fight, <laughs> or all this money that Floyd Mayweather's getting, then... He wouldn't be entertaining this move, would he? He'll be looking forward to his next UFC fight, right? So it's quite obvious he's not happy if he's doing all this. So when you have unhappy workers, you're not swallowing someone else's sport. When your main star is trying to run to that sport. But he's just using it all for leverage. As Leonard Ellaby saying, don't even expect him to fight Floyd Mayweather. One, because they can't make the fight. Nevada won't license him. Um, California licensed him based on him having an amateur record. We saw him in spar and he can't slip a jab. He'll go for any feint that you got. He's getting popped. He can get countered any time. He's not used to somebody being able to dig a shot to his body and he can't kick him. You can't keep your hand on the line here. You'll get it knocked off. He'll understand what it's like when his neck is snapping back. If <laughs> all that sparring and stuff, he knows he's not getting in the boxing ring. It would be a clear embarrassment. A complete embarrassment. So if Coward McGregor is serious about boxing, get serious. Take you some four-rounders. Start off with some four-rounders. Do two. Get you a little light opponent. 
somebody who will go down with a body shot, make it an example of it, prove to them that they wouldn't be stupid to put you in a, a licensed fight with a professional fighter who is uh, the best fighter in the sport. Floyd at 40. I know a 54-year-old who will smoke you in the ring. <laughs> you can't box. Just because you throw punches don't mean you can box. You just can't walk in and off the streets from another sport and do this. This isn't like somebody who played football decided, hey, man, I played basketball a little bit. Let me try to hoop. It's not that. No, it's not that way. It's entirely different. Matter of fact, let me see if I can get my boy Pauly Malinacci on the phone. That would be a good thing. I remember sometimes I was like, I was talking to my boy Paulie. And they was like, why wouldn't he just get Paulie on the phone? Man? Uh, What's up, Paulie? 